Hello everyone. In today's video, I'm going to be showing some little tricks that I wanted to share with all of you. I'm sure lots may already know these, but I love shortcuts and if you love them too, you're going to love this video. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to show you is say you're opening a bunch of um, note cards. They were in your inventory and you just want to kind of go through them. So I'm just going to click on some that are in here. Whoops. Okay. So now they're all over your desktop or your interface, sorry. And rather than go ahead and start clicking the X one by one, there's a shortcut that I use and you hit control and shift and keep that held down and hit the letter W. And all the windows that are on your interface are shut down, which is so nice. So now you have a clean slate again. Now I'm going to show you another way, basically for the same thing. I will go um, open up a, a, say I have a row of them that I want to look at, or I have photos that, you know, a friend sent me and wants me to check out. So I will click on the first one and then hold control or I'm sorry, hold shift and then you'll hit the last item in that row and it will highlight all of them for you. I know that you've seen this before. Um, the other variation on this is if you had um, like two up here and then two down here, you could hit the control shift and then you could click each one or whichever ones you want it. So once you have them highlighted, you'll right click and you're going to go up to open, click on that and then which is really nice, you will a box will open and everything is in there that you clicked but it's all in these like tabs excuse me and it's a, I like this feature you know it's all there together so then when you're done viewing it or reading it or whatever you just hit the X and then it's closed so dependent on you know your mood or however you want to do it I do it both ways so I just wanted to share that with you. And then the next thing um, I'm going to show you, and we all know the control shift and um, holding down the shift key, you, drag, you get your cursor on the arrow and you'll pull it. And we all do that, dragging out our stuff. It's a great feature. But sometimes you just want to have it be a little more precise or you need it to be a little more precise. Say you're putting up some walls. So when you copy them, you're going to need them to be completely aligned and, you know, right up against each other. So in order to do this, you're going to go into the build, click on that little, it's like a wand. And you're, the first thing you're going to do is hit keep tool selected. And then you're going to hit copy selection and you're going to make sure that the center copy is checked as well. So here I'm going to turn the camera a little bit and then click on the object that you want copied. In this case, you're just going to, you can hit any side of the object that you have out and that you want to copy. So I'm going to hit that and you see that it come perfectly lined up. Like you can't tell that there's any seam there or anything like that. I'll do it again here. And then you can do like the face of this and it'll come out this way. So they're perfectly lined up, which is so nice. Okay, for this now, I'm going to show you, say you're building walls or you have a bookcase or a shelf that's copyable and you want it, it's got to be precisely lined up. You will right click on the item and hit edit and then you're going to go up to this is not called a wand by the way it's the create tool so sorry for that but that's what it's called so and just keep in mind when you're copying um a wall say or you know whatever it is you must click on the face of the side that you want it to be copied to so in this case i want it this piece of um, wood here to be to the left of the item. So if I click the front here, the face of it, it's going to put the copy right in front of it, but I don't want that. So I'm going to turn the camera and I'm going to click the side here 
So once that's highlighted or chosen, then I'll go up to the Create tool. And again, I'll make sure all of those uh, boxes are checked. And then I'll click that face and see how nice that is. It's all perfectly lined up. You can put it on the top here if you wanted it, however big you wanted it, but it's just a real nice feature. But just keep in mind um, that you have to have it on the, the side that you want it to be, the copy to be. I don't know if I can explain that right. I'm sure you understood, though, because you're smart. <laughs> so if you're enjoying this video, make sure to smash that like button. And if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel. Please consider doing so. We'd love to have you here. For the next thing, we're going to talk a little bit about inventory. But you're thrilled about that. But this is a new feature that Firestorm added. Um, I believe it was in the September update that they did. Um, it is great. I love this. It has been a life changer for me because normally I have all these windows open. You know how you can, um, you know, open your window and then let me collapse that and go down to the little suitcase icon. And if you click on it, you have your double. I usually have about five or six of these if I'm doing like a major sort, but since they have added this new feature, say you have winter items that you're going to be sorting, then you're going to want um, to definitely use this feature because, like I said, it's a life changer. I'm trying to look. Oh, okay, here's winter items. So let's say I have a lot of loose items in that main folder, and I want to, you know, put them in the different ones. And I know I have a lot of like. Christmas trees or something. So I'm going to choose the Christmas tree folder and I'm going to right click on it and then I'm going to have click the show in new window. So now in this area that's all that's going to be in there are those. So that's what I'm putting, you know, pulling from or putting into. So it just makes it nice and I can make these a little bit smaller. So I have that open and then I can Maybe do another one. I have a lot of um, food items. So I'll do the same thing with that. And also, in opening all these vin windows, when I showed you the Control-Shift-W shortcut to close everything, you can use it for this as well. It'll, you're done for the night. Just do that shortcut, and then your interface is all cleaned up. Okay, this next trick I want to show you is something I recently came across, and I was shook. This, I'm just mind blown. Okay, <laughs> and I'm probably some of you that are watching this, you're going to be like, yeah, we knew that years ago or whatever, but I was just so excited. All right, let's say you have a main folder. For instance, I'm going to take my home folder. And in that, I have all of my subfolders. But from time to time, if I'm at an event or, you know, it's just been a couple weeks, I haven't, you know, gotten to really work on that section of my inventory. There'll be some loose items in, you know, the general population of the home. It won't have been put in the different subfolders. So I have received a few items and... I'm not real sure if I want to keep them or not. There are things maybe that I have to, you know, look through and decide what to do with them. I might want to box them up or, you know, just get rid of them. So I'm going to be going down to um, the items there. And let's see here. Okay, let's, we're going to try the, uh, let's see here. Let me go down to the loose things. Okay. So I'm going to hit control shift. So that's one thing. Um, I'm going to pick another item. Okay, and one more. So now that you have some of the items highlighted that you want to go into a new folder, you're going to right click and you're going to go to create folder from selected. You'll get this pop up box and it's asking you to name the folder. So uh, I'll name it items to go through. It, yeah, it could be whatever. It's just going to be a temporary folder for me. And I'm going to hit OK. 
okay, it's going to, it created that folder and it put all of those items that I highlighted into it. So now they're out of, you know, they're not loose anymore in that main folder. I was just like, well, this is great. So now they're all in there and it's labeled for me. And when I have time, I'll go through them as well as doing that. You can also, if you have a subfolder, let's say, I'll just take this one again, for instance, if you right click on it, you're going to go down to ungroup folder items and you're going to click on that. And what this does is it takes the items out of that folder, puts them back into the main folder that you're working on and it deletes that folder, like the, the things to sort folder. So I don't have that folder anymore and they're just back in general population for me to handle them however I want. So I was just like amazed, but <laughs> I get so excited when I get to learn new things. Okay, so before I show you the last thing, I just wanted you, since you held out to the end, if you could leave a comment and in the comment, put your zodiac sign, because a few of you may be getting a surprise. Okay, the last thing not, I don't know how many people know this. And again, this is something recent that I found. Did you know that the Firestorm viewer acts as a calculator, doubles as a calculator? What? So what you're going to do to use this, you're going to type in local chat, C-A-L-C, -C, and it'll be all in lowercase. And then say you want to add some numbers together. Type in whatever numbers, you're gonna space, choose the plus sign, in this case, because we wanna do addition, space, and then add a couple more numbers and hit enter. And it will come up in your chat showing you the answer. What do you think of that? <laughs> what? <laughs> this is great. I bet the builders love this feature. So, okay, for instance, let's do subtraction. Uh, so you'll type C-A-L-C -C, space, do your numbers, space, and then the subtraction sign. Oops. Jeez. Would help if I knew where that was. Space, couple numbers, and hit enter. I don't know why my uh, I, I know I, I have unavailable on, so it's not showing up on the screen. But there it is, the subtraction. So you're gonna, you have four different choices. Um, subtraction, addition, and for division, you'll use uh, the backslash, and then the asterisk sign, the little, you know what the asterisk is. Let's see, I'll show you this. I'll hit that. And that's your multiplication. So you have, like I said again, subtraction is the minus sign, addition, the plus sign, the division is the backslash, and the multiplication is the asterisk. So I hope that you learned something new today and I hope you enjoyed this video. I appreciate all of you for watching and I hope you have a, the rest of your day is wonderful. Thank you so much and I will see you in the next one. And don't forget to watch um, Who Knew Part 2. I mean, I'm sorry, <laughs> Who Knew Part 1 and I'll have it linked in, at the end of this video. Have a great one, guys. Okay, I'm done.